What is going on y'all? CJ here and welcome back to StarCraft. In today's video we're continuing our series breaking down the best artifacts in the game. And today we have episode 4, Carry Weight Artifacts. In case you've missed it though, we have dropped videos on the best movement speed, the best bullet rest, and the best healing and vitality artifacts in the game. So with all that out the way, let's get right on to the best carry weight artifacts in the game. We're going to kick things off talking about the gravity. Now this artifact in Endgame is not really looked at, but the fact remains that it has some pretty good carry weight. It's quite up there with some of the good ones, not one of the best ones, but definitely a solid, solid option. If you're a new player, you could look into getting yourself a gravity, or you might just find one on the ground because they're just everywhere. The fact that it gives you carry weight and melee protection is also very good for newer players as you're running up in the game, you will see that snorks, dogs, boars, they hit quite hard, especially after you get past the forest when you're in army warehouse. So this is a pretty decent artifact for you to rock if you're looking to get some carry weight and then that melee protection is just going to come in extra handy. Up next we have one of my favorite artifacts in the game that used to be an insane bullet rest artifact before rebalance now it's more of a carry weight artifact and that is none other than the goldfish now the goldfish in my opinion is really good because it gives you carry weight bullet resistance and that nice little explosion protection now explosion protection doesn't really do much but carry weight once again as you can see is pretty hefty on this here goldfish and the bullet rest never hurts if you get shot by an NPC, if you get shot by a player, this is going to come in handy. And once again, the carry weight on a goldfish that has rolled carry weight is going to be pretty nice. Up next, we have an artifact that I love pairing up with a goldfish, especially early on because of what they do. And that is the Vayner. The Vayner gives you carry weight, bullet resistance, and positive side missions. When you pair this up with the goldfish that gives you negative side missions, it's just a really nice combo, really good for starting the game. And once again, Vayner is super nice and gives you all these good things. The carry weight, while it's not as good as something like a goldfish or a gravity, it's still pretty decent. And the fact that it gives you some bullet res on top of it helps this item out. The next artifact I wanna talk about is the frame. Now the frame is one of those artifacts that you can just slot anywhere and that's what makes it good the carry weight is not as good as the previous mentioned artifacts but it's still pretty damn good the fact that you can counter bio the fact that you can counter a couple things and the fact that it gives you stamina region makes this a really good artifact to just slot into anything really that's why i like this artifact and overall i think it's a very good carry weight and just kind of extra artifact to have on your carry weight build now we're at the end where we talk about the top two carry weight artifacts in the game and we're going to kick things off with the artifact that used to be the goat they butchered this artifact right here and that is the amberite it's still one of the best artifacts in the game for carry weight it's still going to give you 20 plus carry weight easy stamina regen but as you can see it has two negatives which makes it a little hard to work with depending on the container and what other artifacts you have but nonetheless they butchered this guy. This guy right here, it used to have over 40 kg carry weight. I know, a little broken, but this is what it is now, and it's still one of the best. I would say it's number two right now for pure carry weight, but let's talk about the last one, because that one is my personal favorite carry weight artifact in the game. I love stacking these on my Forager, and that is none other than the Gold Grabby. Me, when I'm farming, I like to get my materials and I like to be able to run back to base as fast as possible once I'm loaded up. And the gold gravity gives you just that. The two things you need the most when you're farming, which is carry weight, a ton of it, and movement speed. So if you're able to stack a couple of gold gravities while you're farming and you're throwing a spiral in there, you're going to be able to run very fast and carry a lot of shit. Overall, these are the top five carry weight artifacts in the game but wait there is more there's an artifact that i'm going to throw in here just to make a certain group of people cringe but it's still a very valid artifact and that is none other than the wolf tier now the reason i threw the wolf tier in here despite the fact that it has the lowest carry weight out of all these artifacts is quite simple 
it gives you two positives. You don't have to worry about a negative and everybody has a wolf tier. I've seen players reach mid game, reach the bar and not have any artifacts because they don't understand it or they don't know where to put them or they'll have a sports bag and they don't know that if they put a wolf steer in there they won't have to counter it they'll try to put a goldfish in and then it won't let them on the sports bag the wolf tier you won't have to worry about none of that very new player friendly you can literally make like 30 40k 50k and go in the market and probably buy one for like 10k very cheap, a blue, maybe even a pink, and you'll be in early game with a little bit of carry weight, some thermal resistance, and some temperature in case you need to put something else in there, like maybe a sun. I don't know. Overall, Wolf Tier, very beginning friendly artifact, but if you're looking for some real good carry weight, these are your top picks. For now, guys, that's going to be it for the carry weight artifacts. We have one more video coming out regarding the top artifacts in the game, and then I'll probably do like a little summary telling you the top five artifacts overall but if you've enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe turn on bell notifications follow us on twitch and join our discord have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace